Hey, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I did this um, trim. First of all, I want to say that I don't recommend doing this with velour. Um, kind of gave me a little bit of trouble. So you see that it's it's high low, and it's kind. Of, I think the way I did it ends up with a really tidy finish on the hem. Um, don't mind the toilet paper. <laughs> Remember how I said don't use velour. It's uh, yeah, my cover stitch was not having it. Um, but anyway, this is a, a neat way to do it. So you do the shoulders the normal way and you can put the neckband on, um, makes sense to do it then. But then where you would normally sew the, the um, side seams and the um, sleeves, usually put the sleeves in flat. Um, actually, you put the, sleeves, put the sleeves in flat. But then where you would normally sew the side and down the sleeve, um, and then you would go in the round and put the um, band on, instead of that, you have your band piece and you have it as a big rectangle and you sew it facing right sides together so you have like this five inch long rectangle sewed right sides together with the bottom of the shirt and um, it should be flush with the end here Right, so you're sewing it on the front and the back separately, and you, you just, um, yep, leave that there, and, and you do that for the front and the back. Then you take a sewing machine, and now I say sewing machine, I guess you could do a serger, but the, the point of the sewing machine is you want to have this nice, you can open it up here with the sewing machine, where with the serger, you know, you'd have it pressed to one side or the other, and then you'd have to clip into it, or you'd have a little weirdness, right? So um, I sewed it flat up and down the sleeve like you normally would. And this is two inches from the end here. So I cut the front uh, at the high hip at the crop mark, I'm sorry, at the crop mark, and I cut the back at the regular mark. You might even do this even more extreme or lengthen them both to a tunic. Um, and that I might even try that. That's kind of a, another neat idea. Anyway, so you sew from about two inches up down to the sleeve, and then you stop. Then um, you come back and you um, you know pin this back three eighths of an inch, which is the same as the seam allowance here. Other um, other patterns would have you actually make it have an angled cut here, so that this is an inch, and then. Um, you know, if you're hemming this, this is an inch, and then you either do a miter here um, or fold, you know, both ways and then have a square. But I have the band. So fold this 3 8 all the way down and then fold this in half, but sew the, um, sew the edge is over uh, the seam to the shirt. I wanted it over so that when I cover stitched on the front, <laughs> you know, what I wanted to do was to be able to just guide by the actual, um, so press, if you're doing any pressing, press the seam down to the band side and then either straddle or have both uh, on the, the band and then catch the whole seam allowance down. So that makes it um, a little neater inside. Um, you can't really see how neat it is because it's covered in toilet paper. But in any case, that'll come out eventually. I'm not going to fight it. I'll just like soak it out at some point. Um, anywho, uh, and so what I just did was, um, I mean, so cover stitch, uh, you could kind of go down and around and back, or whatever. I think it, it's easiest um, to probably just do this seam first 
and then do the front and then do the back. Um, and um, I just have the this tucked in uh, three eighths on both sides, and I had you know I pinned the pinned the heck out of it there. Um, I ended up doing this with just a straight stitch. It doesn't have to stretch, um, and uh, it it seemed it worked fine. And then I just did cover stitch across, um, and 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 pinned a lot to make sure and kind of felt with my finger to make sure that I was catching everything. Um, there might have been one little spot where I didn't. I just sew that with my um, needle and thread. But anyway, so it made like a super neat um, finish, and I'll um, I'll show some pictures. We will come back again. Only the story what is good. All oh, the world be great. I really wanted to show you some examples of the different kinds of split hem compared to what I did. And this is just from a Google search, and all of these are perfectly valid and great ways to do it. I just wanted to show you. So in this um, tutorial and I'll provide the link to all of these she just attaches the um, front she finishes the front and the back band and she sews them on separately after she's sewn the side seam the problem there is you don't want any stress to be on this seam and um, you know I would probably be tempted to do a bar tack here or something uh, but it does it does look nice and neat and so you have um, equal sided bands here and uh, and you're, you can do it all basically by serger. The next example is from Melly Sews. She has great tutorials and I highly recommend them. Um, and so the way she does hers and she does a high low, um, also sewing up the side with a sewing machine, I believe. But the way she does hers, she starts the same way I do by putting the band on uh, right sides together. But then she finishes the back band by sewing it together. And then she um, kind of flips it right side out. And then uh, sews across. So I, I think this looks really good. And this was actually and <laughs> she was able to successfully uh, cover stitch um, all the way across here too of course, because she's an expert. But I think I found that it stuck out a little bit here. Um, and I was worried with my thicker fabric. But this is also a great way to do it. Now this way, this is Ellie and Mac from their uh, YouTube tutorial for it. Once again, I'll provide links. And it's kind of, um, it's definitely unusual how she does it. Um, she's sewn the band on already folded and she started surging a couple inches up and then she goes back and hems afterward. She trims it, presses it, and sews it over the edge there so it's still neat and tidy. It comes out looking really nice but it just seems a little fiddly. Uh, this is from Helen's Closet with her black wood um, cardigan. And um, I just wanted to show, basically, she leaves the seam open and then just hems up and down and around the other side. Um, also a perfectly good way of doing it. Uh, you don't get a band on the bottom this way. This is Heather Handmade, and it's another way of doing the hem. Um, in this case, she's mitered these corners, uh, so it's very neat and tidy as well. And uh, this is the final one. This is um, Fa Sola. And I think she actually made a mistake. This is how she recovered from the mistake. But the different thing about hers, if you see, it doesn't go all the way up. So that would actually, I would still probably want to like bar tack right there or something, may reinforce that somehow. Um, but that's also a really neat approach. So her length is by the length of the band, not, uh, and this seam is the same. Uh, the length is not determined by the length of the 
the bodice. It's by the band. And that's an overview of what I looked at. We will come back to the age. Only the story of what is good. I want the world to be great. Don't let the fear steal your peace, no. Don't let the fear steal your peace.